Hi guys, it's Kaylee and welcome back to my channel. I'm in a new scene here because I'm back home for the Easter holidays. This video is going to be basically in detailed version about the audition process because I mentioned it in the last video but I really didn't actually explain anything about it. With the audition process everyone has completely different experiences with it and I know personally that me and my friends at drama school now have completely different views about the auditions that we had for the same place so it's very subjective and this is just my opinion and what I did on the day. I found loads of pieces of paper when I was preparing for the auditions I wrote out so much stuff for some reason. So my organised self uh, made hundreds of documents. My first year which was two years ago now um, when I was in year 13 at school I auditioned for... no this is wrong. This is wrong. I didn't audition for these. I can't even remember now. I auditioned for Birmingham School of Acting, Lambda and Art Ed. Birmingham School of Acting, they at the time I had to do a piece that was from the last 20 years and a piece that was Elizabethan or Jacobean which is the same as pretty much all drama schools. Um, for them it was no more than two minutes and you didn't have to prepare songs or anything that was just for the straight acting course. So I remember that day very vividly. Personally for me it was my the worst audition ever. It was my first one as well so I'd never been to an audition before for a drama school. I was terrified, didn't know what to expect, um, turned up and I was, it was very warm when I got there, the people were so nice. We were in quite a small group and then we went off to separate rooms. It was just the actual audition. So at Birmingham School of Acting it's not actually the tutors from the school that do the audition. So first off, I don't understand why they do that. I'm not slating the school, I just don't understand why they do that. Um, so the person that was, the people on my panel weren't actually teachers there. So. I'm not really sure why, um, but they told me that afterwards. They are just kind of experts from the area or people that know the teachers. I did my two pieces. I think I did Emma from People, Places and Things um, and I did, do you know what, I can't even remember which classical piece I did because it, it was the only place that I did that classical speech at for both years so I'm not sure what it was. Anyway, I did my pieces. I actually I had to redo my classical because what I didn't forget a line basically I pronounced a word wrong so it chipped me up and I wanted to start again just to clear my head and start again um, and then afterwards they give you feedback which is the only drama school that gives you feedback so that is a massive positive about it but it just happened to be that their feedback like some of it was great but I think I just remember the really bad parts they basically said I was too young I don't understand why drama schools let you audition as a 17 year old ready to be an 18 year old if they don't want you. Just up your age because you're making kids waste their money on auditions. So for a start they told me I'm too young so I was like okay well I can't know anything about that, can't time travel. Great. There was a man and a woman on the panel, the man was actually really nice to me. He said I had great clarity, um, great projection. Um, it was the women that seemed to just really have an issue with me and she also said don't ever do people, places and things Because you'll never be as good as the woman in the West End I know that. I'm not going to be as good as any of the professionals doing any of these pieces I can understand what she means but I think I'm going there too trained to become a professional not going in as a professional otherwise why would I even go to drama school So that was that experience um, and obviously I didn't get a recall, I didn't get in. Um, as well in that year, Lambda, I actually did my Lambda audition not in London, I did it as a, a local one, uh, which I do think is probably not a great idea. I did it because of the dates that it was um, to do with when I was at school or something. Um, so yeah, I would say try and go to London for the London ones if you can, um, because I didn't for all of them. Uh, so my Lambda audition, I did People, Places and Things and I'm pretty sure I did Constance from King John at that audition um, and they have no longer than three minutes and a clear contrast. I went and literally 
just queued, sat outside the room, went in, did my two pieces, didn't say anything to those panellists, came out, went straight into a panel room with two ladies and chatted about what I was doing, um, different things about my pieces, goals for the future, things like that. And yeah, I did that one the first year and the second year. And the second year, the panellists from the interview actually remembered me. So that's really nice um, that they do they do know who they're talking to and they do remember people. I'd say for Lambda, go to London if you can, definitely, because I think it does make a difference. And then Arts Ed. I love Arts Ed. I think Arts Ed is a great school. I know some of my friends don't agree with me about that at uni now. But I loved Arts Ed. And both years... The audition was great and it was different both years which is nice because it can be a bit boring if you're going to do the same place and it's literally the same process uh, but the workshop part of the audition was very different so first year you wait in a room in the downstairs of arts ed and you go up and you do a big workshop with everybody which involves different warm-ups uh, different group things and then you wait and you do your pieces. So the first year actually I did it one at a time in a room doing your two pieces and then leaving when you were done. And the second year we went in groups so that was nice because you got to see other people then which I quite enjoy. Both years I haven't had a recall from Arts Ed and I haven't got in so That's sad. but I just there's something about Arts Ed that I really like. So yeah from my first year didn't get any recalls, didn't get in, which is kind of what I was expecting in a way, but it would have been nice to get in somewhere. Then that summer I did a summer course at um, Guildford School of Acting, GSA, and I learned so much about my pieces and about what I should have done differently in the audition and just loads of techniques and stuff, so that was amazing and it made me fall in love with GSA. And then second year, I auditioned for nine schools. That's all these pages. So I auditioned for RADA, Central, Lambda, Italia Conti, GSA, Liverpool Theatre School, Drama Centre, East 15, Arts Ed. Okay, I think that's it. So RADA, I didn't go to London. I also did the local one regrets go to London just to get the feel of it um I should have done that literally with the RADA audition you walk in you speak to them the panel about what pieces you're going to do why you're going to do them um what you're doing at the moment with your life then you do your two pieces and then you speak to them again a little bit and you're in and out within about eight minutes um, so what I did as well is before all of my auditions the second year round I properly researched all the school, all the alumni, um, their ethoses and things like that because if in the interview stage if they ask you why you want to go to that school um, if you know the ethos is, it's all on their websites it just means you can put that in when you're speaking to them just so they know you actually have tried and you've cared and taken time to understand the school and what they want um, so yeah, that's why I've got all these pieces of paper. And also the courses, make sure you know exactly like what's on the course that you're applying for. And Central, I also auditioned locally. <laughs> Basically just don't do that. In the morning we did some warm-ups all together in a big group. There was about 25 of us I think. And we were split into two groups because there were so many of us. And then we all watched each other's. We did, everyone did their classical, then everyone did their contemporary. Um, and it was just random, you just stood up when you were ready to go. And then if you wanted to sing so that you were kind of acknowledged for other courses as well, then you could sing. Um, and I did sing for that because I thought, why would you stop yourself? Tell me died. Love that for me. Uh, for Central, I had two classicals and one contemporary. It's good to just have loads of backups, basically. Um, I had Juliet from Romeo and Juliet, which I mentioned in the last video. And... I also had Helena from Midsummer Night's Dream and then my contemporary was Girl with Shoulder Pads from Do you know what? What is it called? Girls Like That Which is actually a fab play with loads of monologues in so if you're looking for monologues it's great um, So yeah, that one didn't get a recall um, and only two people from my group stayed through to the afternoon recall session 
so that's that one lambda i've already spoken about um yeah it was the same both years for me italia conti love italia conti um i've got a friend there who's a few years older and it, I really, really wanted to get in when I was there. I actually loved the day so much. So I got there in the morning. We did, we all signed up. We did some big group games. Then we got, like, introduced ourselves, did warm-ups. Then we got split into two groups. One group started off doing their pieces while the other group did some workshops. Um, so my first workshop was kind of like warm-up style games and we went into smaller groups and we had to do it's really hard to remember. and then after that we went and did our pieces some people got recalled to the afternoon and some people didn't this was a recall day for me yeah um so i got recalled into the afternoon oh my god my knees are literally gonna lose circulation um i got recalled into the afternoon which was fab and we did workshops so had a movement workshop we did like body leading exercises so how your character can change from like nose leading to hips leading um, and we did a couple of other things then we had a singing workshop which I really enjoyed because I haven't done loads of singing in my life but I've done a bit but I've never really done it in front of people that I know. When I do it in front of strangers I don't really care. And we got taught a song and harmonies and then we had to perform the song to the other people in the group as if we were on stage. So that was really good. And then we found out if we'd got through to the interviews or not. And I didn't get through to the interviews but some people had told me that oh their friends had not got through to the interviews before and they'd still got in and stuff. Um, but I didn't get into the interviews and I didn't get in. So yeah, that was that, and I really do like Italia Conti, I do recommend it. And for that, the monologues had to be a classical and a contemporary, and one and a half minutes long. But just be prepared as well. They stopped us, like, before the end of it, so for pretty much everyone. I don't know if that's just because we had loads of us there, but we didn't finish any of the monologues. GSA. Um, so my GSA audition I actually did in Manchester, which isn't near where I live, um, but it was because of the dates for that one. Because I was working amongst doing all of these auditions, it was really hard to find dates that could all fit in. I travelled to Manchester, got there in the morning, met some people, we did a warm up and we did some activities, but I can't really remember what they were. Um, like big group things to see how, so they could see how we could work in an ensemble. And then we just went straight in with the pieces, we all watched each other do our pieces. I can't even remember if we did both pieces now. No, we didn't. We got to choose which piece we wanted to do. Liverpool Theatre School. This isn't in order, it's just in order of my pages. Funny story about Liverpool Theatre School. Um, I actually accident. this makes me sound really stupid, but I accidentally paid for an audition to Liverpool Theatre School. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't a bad mistake at all, um, but I accidentally did it. And then I was like, right, I've got to, I'm going to go to the audition anyway because it's a great experience. So I went to Liverpool and I was expecting there to be loads of people like they'd been at all the other ones. But it's a very small school and it is mainly for musical theatre. They've only had the acting course for two years now. Um, and I got there and I was the only person in the changing rooms and I was really confused. And then eventually these two boys came in as well. So there was only three of us. So we had a voice workshop first because there was only three of us so we got loads of attention for it which is that's when I think an audition is worth it when you feel like you're actually really getting something out of it so I basically had like an hour long class and then we had an acting workshop with the head of acting and he was great um, we did a little scene and it was me and one of the boys and then the boys swapped parts because it made sense that way he then kind of had an interview with all three of us at the same time speaking about who our favourite actors were what sort of acting we wanted to do, what we'd done before, um, things like that. Then after that we did our pieces one at a time, both pieces and a chat through. The, the head of acting was really like impressed with what I was doing, which was nice <laughs> because at all the other places I'd got rejections from, because this was actually my second to last audition. I'd already had seven rejections, so I was kind of not really expecting anything. Then Drama Centre, I mean, this isn't in order, this was actually like one of my first ones. Drama Centre, I went to London and 
I met some people at the beginning and chatted to them. We did a group warm up. There was way too many of us in the small room. We were all cramped in there. Um, a quick warm up and then straight in with the pieces, all in front of each other. We all did our contemporary, then we all did our classicals. Um, didn't get any feedback or anything and then we had a bit of a break and then they put a list up on the door to say who was through to the afternoon and who wasn't and there was only one girl who got through out of about 15 of us um, so yeah I didn't get recalled for that then it comes to E15 where I'm at now